Joining us now exclusively, Tracy Kleppinger, whose husband Carl is one of the 11 missing workers from that rig, and her attorney, Jeff Seeley. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Tracy, what's the latest that you've heard on the search? As far as I'm aware at the moment, um, my husband and 10 others are still unaccounted for. Other than that, I have no information. When is the last time that you spoke with Carl, and what did he say? Um, we spoke Monday night, and the final words were we left each other. He was due home last night to end his hitch, to come home for three weeks. So the last words were, I love you. Do you feel that he's still alive? Yes. There, for me, is no other option. A lot of prayers and support have come from all over. We're greatly appreciative of, for my husband and all of those that were hurt, and the other 10 that are still out there along with my husband. Please keep those up. They're what keep us going. I'm sure your family, your 17-year-old son, keeps you going as well. How is he and the rest of the family doing this morning? We informed him this morning of a lot more of the details. He is a special needs child, so we had been keeping a lot from him up until today. Um, he knew his father was missing, but not to exactly what extent. Uh, we broke the news. Um, there may be bad news, but there is a lot of hope, and just to hang on to that hope and keep saying his prayers. I'm sure that he's not taking it good well. I'm sure that, that you know, and Carl must have been fully aware as well. This is very, very dangerous work. Did you ever speak about the concern for safety? It's a very dangerous job out there. The men do exceptional jobs, it, but they go out there, they earn their keep, they, they do their work, they take it seriously. They're very self-aware of everything they do safety-wise. And we've spoken about it, worst case scenarios, but you just think that it's not something that's gonna happen to your family until it does. Do you feel confident that TransOcean, the company that he worked for, did everything possible to keep him and the other workers there safe? At this time, um, I have no reason to doubt they haven't, but I have no information on what happened other than there was an explosion on the rig. So I, I really cannot answer that. And in that regard, we've got a website, offshoreinjuries.com. If anybody has any information that could help us, uh, please go there and submit your information. What is that website again? It's offshoreinjuries.com. All right. Jeff Seely, thank you, sir. Tracy Kleppinger, our, our prayers and thoughts uh, are with all of you this morning. Thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.